uh, so hi everyone today we will be talking about a very important enhancement done over lora fine tuning methodology that is dora which has been recently introduced by nvidia so basically if you don't know lora is a fine tuning method which helps you to save resources save your computational power do uh, fine tuning of llm faster without taking much of a hit on the performance of the llm now there are certain limitations that has been found in the lora methodology and due to which an enhancement over it dora that is decomposed low rank adaptation has been introduced so before we jump on to i think dora stands for weighted decomposed low rank adaptation and if you know lora stands for low rank adaptation so you must have now got an essence that it would revolve something around matrix decomposition with lora so basically before i jump on to dora i would like to recap what lora is all about so basically lora is a fine tuning technique where what we are trying to achieve we are introducing two low rank matrices one is a and b which are much smaller than the original weight matrix of the llm w so basically in general fine tuning what we do we take the entire weight matrix and then fine tune it now what happens as the weight matrix is huge it is computationally very heavy and takes a lot of time so in case of lora what we do we take a combination of two matrices a and b and eventually we fine tune that so this is just a very shallow introduction to lora you can find out more about in my previous video on lora which explains lora in quite detail so basically because of this two introduction of a and b this allows for fine tuning without updating the entire model making the process computationally more efficient now basically uh, this post as it is not about lora i won't be jumping much on to it and i told you can get more information about lora from the link in the description or you can check out my channel for my previous video on lora now there are multiple issues with lora that has been found out like with the spav as the time has passed on couple of major ones are limited adjustment capabilities so basically lora tends to make simpler changes to the model weights it is not able to capture the complex relationships that are present in the newly fine tuned data that you are providing so it means it struggles to make subtle nuanced adjustments that fully fine tuning can achieve so it would be able to learn about the simple patterns but when it comes to a very complex pattern in the text in the new fine tuned data it may fail on that and similarly the second point as i'm telling difficulty with complex learning so basically what has been found out that lora is not able to capture complex relationships and eventually it is able to capture the basic essence of the data set that you are providing it for fine tuning but fails on complex problems complex logics that are coming now dora comes to the rescue for this so basically this enhancement majorly helps you in capturing more complex relationships and hence enhances the capabilities of lora so one important aspect that i mentioned why it is not able to learn complex relationship because once you decompose a weight matrix it goes into two direction uh, two matrices one is called as a magnitude and other is called as a direction so basically when you decompose it into for example if you have a weight matrix w and you decompose it into a and b so a would be called as a magnitude how much the weight should be changed and the second would be called as direction in which direction should you in so dora basically helps you to achieve that uh, in case of lora it is not able to go with both the updates magnitude and direction together it is not able to handle both the matrices both the essence of the weight matrix together but dora is able to do that and hence improving the learning capabilities so in this particular uh, methodology the major focus would be on how the magnitude and the direction matrix are getting updated so first of all you would be breaking the weight matrix w into two parts one is would be called as the magnitude how large are the weights and second would be called as the direction which way the weights are pointing makes sense now both of these weight matrices are fine tuned separately so once you decompose the weight matrix now you are fine tuning that separately the magnitude matrix is fine tuned directly very similar to general fine tuning while the direction matrix is fine tuned using lora makes sense so basically in case of lora what we are doing we are applying lora just to the weights matrix the actual weight matrix but in case of dora we are first breaking it into two parts that is magnitude and direction and then applying general fine tuning to magnitude matrix and direction fine tuning and 
lora fine tuning to the direction matrix once they fine tuned separately they are again merged using matrix multiplication and you get your weights matrix back so it's very very easy if you know lora i think you would be able to capture dora as well nothing decomposition fine tune them separately and then merge them together so basically you would be thinking how it is computationally saving yourself because once you are going for magnitude uh, matrix decomposition i think the two matrices that you get are comparatively very small than the original matrix that you have so basically even if you fine tune one of the matrix fully it won't be impacting a lot of computation it will be impacting but it is not same as fine tuning the whole weight matrix now coming to the most important part how dora can be implemented implementation is the easiest i think hugging face is doing some great work when it is coming to implementation of genea related algorithms or beat any other sota algorithm so you don't need to do anything so i will be providing you the link to this particular post or you can check out my previous post on lora where i'm using the codes you don't have to change a single thing in that code you just need to go to lora config section they would be lora config section in that we just need to add one more parameter that is use dora equals to true that's it you don't need to do anything so you just need to have your lora implementation ready and in the lora config add this particular hyperparameter and then your code would start using dora so this is how dora works and this is how it is different from lora i hope you try lora and check out the differences between the two in terms of performance and time consumption thank you